Okay, let's have a look at these questions. So um, this time now we need to, for the following exercises, uh, find the F and the A. So you just got to work backward, basically. Um, if I try and, if we try and match this up, um, it must be that F of X is X power two thirds, because we have the two thirds here. And it must be that the A is one, because one power two thirds is one, and um, one plus H, so yeah, okay. 69, uh, the F of X looks like it's three X squared plus two, and the A must be two. Ah, now we have to start thinking it's it is two here and not x because there's not two plus h and if i put in two four twelve fourteen yep that works okay 70. so the f of x must be cos x and the a must be pi and cos pi is minus one yeah Okay, 71, the f of x uh, must be x power 4 with a equal to 2. 72, the f of x must be 2x squared minus x with the a equal to 3. 9, 18, yep, 73, the f of x must be e power x with the a equal to 0. Let's check the answers. Uh, 68. I've gone past it. Sixty nine. Three X squared plus two X plus two. Yep. And then seventy one. Yep. And then seventy three. Yep. Okay, so we're we're okay. Um where are we now? Let's see. For the following, sketch the graph and use the definition to show that the function is not differentiable at one. Okay, okay. Well, I actually need to make a short video today, but three minutes is perhaps too short. So let's do at least one of these. Let's see how easy or hard they are. Or I could do three of them. Right, okay. Okay, uh, we'll just um, sketch, just a very rough sketch here. Okay, this can be 74. 75, 76. Okay, so um, what is x, y, x, y, x, um, 0 to 1. So it starts at 0 and it's a root function until it gets to 1. And then at one, um, and actually it attains this value here, which is uh, two. And then after that, it jumps. Oh no, no, it's still at two. But then it becomes uh, linear. 
So there's, yeah, there's not going to be a, a derivative here. Uh, and then this one here, when it's less than one, we get this constant tray. And then I guess I don't really need to have the dot there. Uh, and then when it gets to one, it becomes tree X. So it goes, oops, like that. And then the last one here, when it's one, we'll get one. So it goes straight here to the right. And then um, I think it's kind of like a hill like this, something roughly like this. So you can see that there's going to be a little problem here at the points one um, because the slope kind of switches from being zero to positive, negative to positive, and, and so on. So let's just check. In 74, the limit as h tends to zero from the right, so then that would be um, from the right, so that would be tree x plus h uh, minus 1 um, minus 2. Actually, it would be convenient to know the heights here. So this height is tree, and then this, uh, this height here is actually the one I really care about. Uh, that height there is 1. Okay, all over h. So, uh, and the x is um, 1. So this will just end up equal in 3. And then the limit as h tends to 0 from the left. Um, I, uh, we got, can go through the whole process now of, of getting the derivative, but we can see that it's not going to be equal because this will be 2 root uh, 1 plus h minus 2 all over h. So that's going to be, I think, like 1 or something. I'll have to calculate it. Multiplying above and below by 2 root 1 plus h plus 2 over 2 root 1 plus h plus 2. So on the top, that will give us 4, 1 plus h minus 4, all over 2, root 1 plus h plus 2. The 4 cancels here, and, the, and I left out the h here, sorry, and the h cancels here, and then the h is going to 0. So uh, that's 1 plus 2, 1 over 6. I don't know, I think I did something wrong there. What did I do wrong? Oh, oh no, it is minus 2, isn't it? Um, minus 4, 4, on the bottom, 2 h going to 0, oh that 2 is not, it's only multiplying the uh, the root, there we go. yeah okay so that'll be 4, yeah 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 so it's, it's 1 over 4, hmm feel like I lost a 4 on the top though. 4 plus 4h. Four yeah, 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 yeah. So so it's 4 over um, 4, which is 1. So that means there does not exist a limit when h goes to 0. Okay. Sorry, I should really have multiplied that out. That actually would have been quicker than trying to do it in my head. Apologies. Uh, okay, 75. So you can see what's going to happen here. Um, the the limit as uh, h tends to zero uh, from the left 
um, that's going to be 3, because you'll just get 3 plus h minus 3 over h. Uh, sorry, it's going to be 0, I mean. Uh, uh, 0. And that will not equal the limit to the right. Uh, from the right, I mean. That's 3x plus h. Uh, which one says 75? Uh, minus 3 all over h, uh, where the x is 1. So that's going to equal 3. So they're not equal. So again, uh, no limit. And then I'll just have to make a little bit of space for 76. Maybe I'll remove my graphs. My ugly graphs. Seventy six. So let's do the limit from the right. H tends to zero. Um, one plus H minus one over H. So that's just going to be one. And that will not equal the left limit, the limit from the left. So the limit from the left will be minus 1 plus h squared plus 2 minus 1 over uh, h which equals the limit so h tends to 0 from the left that will be minus 1 minus 2h minus h squared plus 1 uh, all over h so they cancel that cancels with that and that so that's just going to be a minus two which is equal to one so again just like before there doesn't exist a limit as h goes to zero and the same one here that doesn't exist a limit as h goes to zero so this exercise seems a bit tedious I might as well do the last one, get them out of the way. Right. Okay. Um again at the one okay, so when it's um uh, it's gonna hit the two here, so it's gonna go like this roughly, and then two over x. Uh, yes, then it's going to go down like that. So we can see a problem here. So let's get the right, uh, let's get the left limit first. Limit as h tends to zero from the left, that would be 2x plus h minus 2 over h. So that's just going to end up being 2. And now let's get the limit as h goes to zero from the right. So that's two over one plus h minus two all over h. That's equal to two. Take the two out. So that's one minus one minus h over one plus h all over h. Uh, they cancel. That cancels with that. So let me see. That's just going to be minus 2. So again, you can see uh, the difference here. There's not going to be a limit as h tends to 0 from the left and the right. It's different. 
limits. So that, that shows that the, the problem here. I wonder what they say at the back, actually. Um, let's have a look at 77 as an example. Yeah. So to the left and the right limits aren't equal. Oh, but they don't even calculate them. So maybe I did more work than I need to. Well, it doesn't matter. No, no, I think I did it the proper way. This is a bit too short. Because you can, yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, where do we have for next time? The term for which values of x equals a the limit exists, but f exists, but f is not continuous at x equals a. And determine for which values x equals a the function is continuous, but not differentiable. Okay. That's a, that's a good question. I really like that one. I really like that one. So you can see here this point is missing. So it's not uh, continuous here, but it, it is uh, differentiable. Is that right? Might have to brush up a little bit on this. Yeah. Okay, good. I like I like that. We'll save that for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, you can see here we have a discontinuity. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, okay, I'm going to really have to be careful with this next exercise, the graph then. Okay, well, we did all right for today, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Any problems, do let me know, and I'll see you next time.